Good morning, guys. Today is going to be a workout with Johnny Moonster. You guys all know him. He's like a funny guy. Arnold Schwarzenegger fan. And just a nice guy to hang around with. And uh, today's going to be a chest workout. After that workout, we already had Crank Olympia. I can feel it in my mouth. It has a nice heat to it. And in the intra workout, we just put some isoclear, which is very comparable to just EAAs. So, um, yeah, this is a preparation, fast workout. Let's go. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> Always bring the tricks, right? Uh, of course. Yeah, I got. I got. A, I got <laughs> Almost two Set. hands on one side. You, have, you got nine fingers now. Yeah. On one hand. Is it terrific? Oh, nice. <laughs> Placing this one. Yeah. Got also one for you. But it's a fish. Oh, wow. Because you got. Oh, for what I have. Wait, wait, <laughs> I don't know which size you have. I close my eyes. <laughs> Tell me when I'm allowed to open. Open it up. Ah! Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it fits perfectly. Perfect. Looks golden. Yeah. Nice. Oh, the bicep it grew immediately. Yeah. yeah. Immediately, like 20%, yeah. bro. And the chest as well. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready to pump up, bro? Yeah. Me chest too. day. It's, it's, it's chest day. Chest day is the the old school training. Yeah. Like nothing, nothing beats it. We're going to do your plan. Yeah. Yeah. I like to start out with, of course, a press. Um, we're keeping it safe, so no. Blue, no free weights, no barbells or dumbbells for okay. now. Yeah. Um, I did do some dumbbell flies, but that's because it's super busy here and it was the only option. But if you're gonna do one thing, you're gonna do the Arnold dumbbell flies, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I love, bro. That's what I love. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can do that for sure. But uh, starting out with a press, just a neutral press to get the whole chest warmed up, and then an incline press to get the upper chest. Shelf. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, after that, uh, a fly variation. So if you can do the dumbbell fly or the cable fly, one of those, and uh, maybe then some uh, dips to finish it off. Okay. Maybe let's see if you do a machine or free weight dip even, just really as a finisher. Yeah. And then uh, go straight to the side delts. That's the, the only real difference between the old school and now. The delts back then were smaller. Yeah. So because they want to push out the chest and the arms and to keep the delts in. But nowadays you need like super wide delts. Also, yeah. So uh, well, the classic physique you need. Yeah, you need it. So it. You, you know, you see Chris when he does even a front last spread, even then his delts come out. So I don't have a choice. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> side delt, side delt movement, of course. Yeah. We are going to do the old school Arnold side delt movement. <laughs> what? No, not like I'm that, but like this. <laughs> Like the oh, down. Yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah, I like that, I like that. But yeah. we're gonna do it even more perfect. And okay. then of course some uh, triceps. Okay, so, so, we, so we got today a uh, full uh, push workout, right? Yeah, except for the except for the front delts. Okay. I never train the front delts separately for myself. Never? No. Because they already, for me, they already develop enough by doing chest. And um, it's, it's more of a risk for injury for me personally. If I train the front delts and then the front delt becomes so overpowered that it kind of pulls your joint out of the socket really? compared yeah. to the rear delt. And then, you know, my rear delts are already quite strong, so it's yeah. if I train the front delt, I have to train the rear delt even more and it's like uh, chaos. Yeah, okay, <laughs> so I just leave it that. out and then um, it's, it's perfectly balanced. So, what do you think? Okay. Let's pump up. Let's do it. I've been watching you for a very long time, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know since when, but I know you since a long, long time. It's really crazy. Nice, man. Yeah, I saw you always on IG. Even before I started, I think, with uh, Instagram or, or like with social media, I saw you already. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I was, I was part of that, yeah. You uh, grew quite quickly, right, on uh, social media? Or did it, was it a... Yeah, so uh, I started social media like three and a half years ago. Yeah. But 
I took it seriously like two years ago and I found a better way so to entertain people yeah. in my funny way, you know? Yeah, because that's your real talent, is to effortlessly be funny. <laughs> like, that's, you automatically are funny, so that's, you gotta, you gotta exploit that. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Yeah. This Johnny is pretty powerful as you can see. He's still doing it as effortless as one play. Oh, that's just a crazy good machine for it. Wow. You've got an angle to shoot the weight out. Yeah, yeah. It's, you can, uh, it's, it's like a bench press, it's like decline press. Yeah, decline. Yeah. You're basically in a decline right now. Yeah. But it's better because as Dorian, Dorian Gates did that for a better stretch here. Because if you're sitting like this, the only stretch goes to here, but if you're sitting like this, you can automatically yeah. get a way better stretch. It's more natural for the chest. That's move. why I have also, all the time, an arch when I yeah. do bench, yeah. like dumbbell flies or so. Always arch. Yeah. It feels better, better stretch, more safe. It looks better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one more point. I got one here. Like one or two reps in, in the tank, so you have more regeneration because your next show is like six days. Yeah. So I'm not allowed to fully kill yourself, right? No, I, I feel already this is, it feels perfect, heavy enough, so I can still get a stimulus of the muscle without annihilating it, like Lihane. Yeah. Stimulate and annihilate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I, now, if I now annihilate the muscle, it's gonna take more than a week, because I haven't trained heavy in like two, three weeks for yeah. the show, you know? Yeah. So it would be stupid to do it now. Yeah, that's what no I'm reason. asking, because I thought like, should I ask him now to do more reps or should I police him to do more reps for you now? Uh, so, so, so I thought now better not. No, it's, it's usually if you do that around a show of a bodyboarder, it's like a double feeling because you want to keep going but you're like, at the same time you don't want to take risks. So it's like, that's, uh, it's smart, it's far yeah. smart. Chest. Oh yeah. Arnold shell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> it's funny because back in the day, people used to think that partials were like bullshit. Yeah. And now it's been proven that it's actually even better maybe than full range. So that's why you see Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler all doing like this and I like full range of motion was like holy back in the day yeah. and I was like well if you do partials just do them it's even more stimulus and you don't have to go through this range which is then useless basically you was able to see like Tom Platz or all these guys killing us that completely yeah you get like a whole two spotters true, true. only that he can do yeah. 20 more rest but not by himself yeah. so it's almost partial yeah this it's like a feeling. It's difficult to put in a, in a study or a science or literature because it's like you feel when you just did this, you feel like, okay, this is what I need to really finish the set. You know, you just feel this is going to bring more stimulus and no negative things, only more pump, more blood flow, more results. And it's like it takes like 50 years for science to finally realize, oh, wait, they were actually right. Yeah. But we feel it all along. Yeah, that's true. If you don't, uh, if you don't have a good feeling for the body, then you will never know what's yeah. right for you. True. So that's that's where, like, even Matt Arnold back in the '70s, talking about the mind muscle connection. It's not just a movement that you do. You feel okay. This is engaging the chest even more. I would like to show you something for uh, what I do. What I, what I love to do for my chest is like. You want to do flies, dumbbells, and stuff? 
because I do always fly to the dumbbells. Yeah. And then I have a, like a special super set thing. I, I'll just show you. You don't have to do that. You don't yeah, have to kill yourself. But it's like funny. You, you, you use your own body weight, nothing more. Nice. Well, check it out then. <laughs> <laughs> so what we do? One more? One more. Usually the first exercise I like to do is three good sets to really get everything going. Because then usually you can do the second movement, maybe one warm up, and then you can go straight to the to the warm set. Because this warms everything up already. But that's the best way I think. I used to do like always like no matter which exercise it was i start with the lightest weight 10 reps one plate 10 reps one plate until i felt like okay now it's going to be hard yeah. but it did sometimes it took like five or six sets to get to that weight yeah. even though it was like a fourth movement but it worked because it gets a lot of blood flow but once you get to a certain level then you gotta focus on okay how do i put the energy that i have in the most effective reps yeah. instead of spreading it out over everything because all the warm-ups, they don't do anything. It's only the last few reps of the hardest set that stimulate the muscle. All the other stuff is to build up to that moment. Yeah. So, but, you know, when, when you have passion in training and when it's fun to do, and you do that stuff day in, day out, even if it's not perfect, you're still gonna grow. Especially when you're a beginner. Yeah. And I did that for the first seven, eight years and it worked tremendously until you know you come to a point where your strength is starting to plateau yeah. and then you got to find something different to do yeah. that's how you automatically evolve oh yeah i can see the striations and everything from above here already nice that's nice yeah Do you see the stripes when he's pressing the weight up on his triceps on the right side? Look at it. Here, look at it from here. Down the rock, the triceps. Oh my god. Crazy. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, enough. Let's go. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. I didn't know you wanted to do right now. <laughs> I learned please, from you. Please go with your plan. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't get oh, like... This feels more like... Yes, this feels more lactic acid than mechanical tension like the other one. Yeah. Because now I feel like okay, it's just getting blood in there, but it doesn't feel like a stress, you know? Okay, yeah, it's yeah, light enough, so it feels pretty safe. Okay. It's literally like in the moment you decide what's smart to do. And I also think about... your body. I gotta get rid of a few of those cheesecake carbs still. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> Extra reps. One rep, 100 calories. Right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Stage, bro. Yeah, man. After the show, stop that. Don't go on stage, please. We can pump here. We have the, we have the best chest we ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we can have that after. <laughs> Even better. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Coming out some more mini veins, like these mini veins he got. Oh, you really pop. Uh, really extra like, strength to get yeah, through yeah. that. Yeah. That's it. Come on. Go. Set. Huh? You know them all. Ah, uh, I gotta know them. <laughs> if you're an Arnold fan, you gotta know all the suppose, bro. <clears throat> you wanna do you wanna do the chest thing? Oh yeah. yeah. You gotta come closer. Yeah. Uh, come closer to the bench, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down. But really below, really below the chest. Yeah, like that. And now we press upward together. Hold the power. Ooh, now you just pull over. And go down to the chest again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the feel, <laughs> the whole other thing it reminds me always of Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But do you know what I mean with this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sexy. That's so sexy, bro. I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good one. Oh yeah. Nice, nice technique. Yeah. Next one is a true old school movement. We move on from the chest to the side delt. And there's gonna be an incline side delt just like Arnold Schwarzenegger used to do. So this is an amazing one. And uh, it's on an angle. If you do a heavy weight with this, you're doing it wrong. So let's get started. Oh, 
had like all the time a contraction yeah. in the shoulder. There's no lot of tension anywhere. Yeah. O only if you do this, but you shouldn't go that high. But that's the improvement we make of Arnold. He, do, he did this all the way here. But we stop when the tension is low. And here yeah. is the highest and then you stop. And it becomes difficult. So, nice. and when you go up, try to squeeze it as hard as you can. Yeah, as big as possible. All right. All the way down. Yeah, just like that. I think I gotta do like this. Yeah. This one is all about making it as difficult as you can with the light weight. Yeah. The side delt is not strong on its own. Nice. One time I do a better than the struggle. Then I can do twice as heavy because it's literally fire machine. I was really impressed. Really impressed. I, want, I wanted to tell you before, but you know, it's, it's just amazing. That means a lot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, from coming from, you know, the. Our, our fraternity. Yeah, that means yeah. Everything. <laughs> that means everything more so than anybody else. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, mean for it to come from us. Yeah. I, mean, I saw your like I saw your uh, updates and I, I could already see like your arms, the fullness. Everything was already better better than before. But once the whole package came together on stage in the comparisons, I was like, whoa, uh, he yeah. is actually really made a step forward again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's I, the whole point, right? Yeah. Like, when they give you the changes. Yeah. In the, in the more weight. Yeah. That's, really that's really the changes. How much was you, were you allowed to weigh more now? Seven pounds. Seven pounds. Yeah, so seven. Yeah. So it doesn't seem like that that much, but it does make a difference. Huge difference on stage in that condition if you put pure muscle mass on. Yeah. It also makes it easier like with the weigh-ins, not have to worry about starving yourself or you know being faster. Well see that still was tough. Because yeah? because well I was I was remember I was preparing for 12. Oh yeah, yeah. Already. I wasn't gonna do classic, I was yeah. going to do 212. Yeah. So then they gave us so I had already put on more weight for 212. Yeah. So then it was kind of like the same to come down <laughs> because I put on more weight. It's just amazing that you were able to put on so much weight. Like for the 212 even, like it's only a year since uh, you had to suck down so deep. Yeah, not even yeah. a full year. Yeah, not even a full year. Because last year was in December. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're, in November, we're barely in November. Yeah. Not even a full year. True. So. Um, yeah, we'll see what we'll do next year, brother. But you look great, too. Oh, thank you, appreciate that. You look great. Classic, classic as fuck all the time. <laughs> Golden era as yeah, hell yeah. all the time. Yeah, one placing up compared to last oh, year, so great. super happy about it. Yeah, it's great. We're slowly moving towards the, uh, yeah. the true final callout, you know, with you yes. guys in it. So yes. that's, my, that's my dream, to be in that, to be able to do my, my routine. That's what I really want, oh, you know. That's because yeah. you, you, yes, I am in the finals, but it's like one comparison and then, you, then you're gone. Yeah. But to be able to showcase your routine and really the different kind of poses, yes. the classic stance yes. for, yes. Yes. I think that's like a cherry on top. And, yes, uh, that's is. my goal for next year. So. And you, you will. Thank you. You will get there, brother. Because you have the goods, and, you. and you're consistent. Yeah. And you're moving up. You're working. And you're young. Yeah. You're not like you're not like old man like me. <laughs> but even then, even that's yeah. Even then, with the improvements at your age. I mean, you would not, you would never say that you are your age right now. You would say that your the progress you've made is like a young guy, pretty much. Because I feel, I feel young. Yeah, you look young I as don't, well. I don't feel worn down or or your physique old. looks very fresh. Like it's <coughs> even more fresh than last time. Yeah. That's ah. what was so like very polished. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah, everything you. just fits. Thank you. That's what classic stands for in my opinion. Yes. Means a lot. Really, really does. Very good, my son. Very good. Final. Yeah. Two, see. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
Can you help me? Because I'm not flexible at all in this position. <laughs> Oh, it feels good. Yeah. Yeah, still, still pretty light. Okay. You can take more. <laughs> Heavy now? That was good. Oh, yeah. Gym like that. <laughs> POV, you need the blood flow. Yeah. <laughs> Get the back and cash it out. They take you more notice of you, yeah. You know, you because your physique is so different. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's the thing, you know. So every year, I believe you're gonna be right up there. When you're right there, you're gonna be so different from everyone else. Yeah. That's gonna be very hard for them. Yeah, because not to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really once you're there, you're the shape. Except once yeah. you're there, yeah. you establish your. Yeah. Except like, yeah. like sebum. It's yeah. like you kind of establish the look. True. True. You know, and everybody's loving it right now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Coming, bro. Yeah, Those you. work, man. Hey, yeah. look, listen. It's all about being your naked, yeah. being different, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's all you. <laughs> Thank you. Time for the post-workout importance, which is the protein, of course, designer way. We're still pretty much fast. It only had ice to clear before the workout, so now it's important to get filled up with protein. Mm. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> oh, oh. You know, you know what it was? We're busy at the uh, Yeah, I know. So, guys, I'm saying my email and I'm good. 60 grams, <laughs> so it's underway. Oh, yeah. But I will scream at my WhatsApp. Yeah, exactly. I will <laughs> yeah. scream at my WhatsApp. At least that. At least that. All right, man. Are you going to have a performance there? Yeah. Yeah, I want to see that. Finally, the routine, finally. This is my third show and I haven't been able to do my routine. It's like a curse. Google Maps. Yeah. For the third time? 
That was, that was the third time. Romania was four. Four. So fourth should work. Let's do it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you so much for the time. All right, we are now back in the apartment and it's time for the post-workout meal after the great workout with Johnny, really a great stand-up guy. You're gonna see more content with him, a lot more on this channel for sure. Here we have a beautiful post-workout victory meal, rice flour, the fruits, and of course the designer whey honey cereal flavor. So this is gonna be the only carb meal of the day. From now on, only carbs, I mean, no carbs, only vegetables and protein tomorrow as well. Wednesday probably as well, and we'll see Thursday because it really depends on my weight and everything. So really looking forward to the next phase after the Olympia. It's gonna be great, guys. Thank you for the incredible support, feedback, way more content coming, so don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, don't forget to also check out the description for Golden Era. Stay Golden Classic Vintage Genetics Clothing. And also, if you want to try out all of these ESN incredible supplements, use code Wesley for always a nice discount. And don't forget to stay.